Welcome everyone to today's video. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov from the Dimitrov Boulet Piano Duo. And in today's video, I'm going to record part of my practice in preparation for a post I'm going to do on the arrangement I've made of the love theme from the movie The Godfather. And so before I record it for Instagram, Facebook and TikTok, I want to prepare so I can play it well because sometimes we upload things that are just uh, on the spot with mistakes and then I fix my mistakes etc but in this uh, post I want to upload something that I've prepared so people can actually hear my arrangement it's not the complete piece yet it's part of the piece but I want to work on it a little bit and uh, show you how I prepare for such a post Let's start. First, I will do the first part of the piece in a slow tempo because I want to check a few things that I want to work on. Slow tempo is very important for me. So one of the one of the things that I want to work on is when you have when I have the trip the triplets I generally want to have a little bit of a back crescendo because that makes it very beautiful. Listen. flow to the piece and so that's very important to be practiced so I will do the left hand once with a tech crescendo in between because that gives a flow but the last note not so and then I'll try it with both hands and and now I'll try it in a little bit faster tempo so the first tempo was slow and I want to play it closer to the original theme and that goes a little faster as far as I remember practice it a few more times after the video I just want to show you what the things that I want to work on now the next thing is a little bit challenging this passage from here it's a little bit difficult uh, this what what I transcribed for the for the piano because you have this intervals in the left hand jumps here so what's very important 
important here is that if you're playing a piece that's similar similar to this, you know, you can apply those things in the pieces that you're practicing. And later, of course, if you want to play my arrangement, that you, you can do that as well. When you have such structure, it's very important that your hand transitions very quickly from one place to the next. Look, if you have already here, like if you want to make the jump, the same is with the intervals. Look, I jump very quickly and I don't play in the last moment. Dim, dum, dum. I don't transition in the last moment, but the, especially the big jumps. See, this is also a big one. Here also big one. Big one. And that I do in slow tempo. In slow tempo, when I practice, I observe that I'm really quick. Whenever I have big jumps, and then I try it in a faster tempo. That was not good. explain why I do this. What do you think is the reason uh, that I practice jumping so quickly from one note to the next? Once I heard or I read something on Facebook, somebody made a post, somebody asked about something about jumps, big jumps, and a person answered, and I hope that that was not an expert, answered that you have to be able to make jumps in the last moment, that you have to transfer your hand in the last moment, which is as far from the truth as possible. The best way to play jumps and to be safe and play the right notes is if your hand is quicker then the tempo, then the speed you're going to play. Your hand needs to transition before it is time to play the next note. Of course, as fast as physically that's possible. Depends on the tempo. Sometimes when you have a very fast tempo, you're not going to be able to do that completely. And yet the hand will always have to be as quick as possible. And that's the reason that I'm doing this in this kind of a place, because that ensures that I'm going to play the right notes. That's why I do first slow tempo, so my hand learns, so my hand learns in the big distance, in the big distances, to prepare, you see, every time there is a jump, you can see, even here, I do this, it's not yet time to play, right, but my finger, knowledge when I'm showing you when I'm playing you can observe what my hand is doing and I would recommend that you do that as well and you will see that your technique and the the, the, the precision with which you're going to play is going to improve so much more so that's very important to do and then of course I try that in a quick tempo to see if I'm getting the right notes you might not succeed I might not succeed immediately but then I repeat the process of getting getting it right in a slow tempo and then doing it faster and uh, I wanted to address this because yeah sometimes when I fix when I work on these different things I think about all the questions I get from um, my students and this question comes up very often how do you how do you accomplish jumps how you do how, how do you i mean by accomplish how do you play jumps in the right way the right notes without having wrong notes and that's the way that you can that you can do that anyway i think that that would be enough i think that that was one of the most important oh yeah and the next thing that i'm i'm going to polish a little bit after this video as well is the phrasing i have <laughs> Thank you.
endings of phrases. Make sure that when you are playing that's the second slide. I like to be very careful with how I approach the last note of each phrase. I don't want to have that because it just doesn't sound subtle, it doesn't give space and room for the next. practice now the second part of this piece because because I think it's enough for the YouTube video but I'm going to show you in the, in the next in the coming weeks we're going to show you a lot more from our practice my practice as well anyway don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you each one of you that supports us um, by subscribing to our channel because it keeps growing and we're very happy to see that uh, if you want to see the post, the, the full video of this, and in the future, of course, sheet music will be available for sale and uh, the recording will be available of this piece and my own pieces. Don't forget then to visit our Facebook, Instagram or TikTok because there you can see much longer uh, sections of my playing, also Elvira's playing and our teaching as well. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And thank you so much for watching, for me recording this video. As always, it was a great pleasure. See you next week.